The Speaker, Trevor Mallard, has launched an external review to get to the bottom of whether bullying and harassment is rife at Parliament. But New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters says the only person who's been seriously bullied for a long time is himself by the media. The review, which will also consider sexual harassment, will be led by Debbie Francis, who has conducted similar reviews at organisations including the Defence Force. Here's our political reporter, Joe Moyer. While Trevor Mallard says the idea of a review has been on his mind since he became Speaker, it's become more urgent in light of the bullying and sexual harassment revelations at law firm Russell McVeigh and incidents involving MPs. Earlier this year, Labour MP Mika Whaiteri was stripped of her ministerial portfolios following a physical altercation with a staff member. And former National MP Jamie Lee Ross was accused of bullying and sexual harassment by multiple women. The latter prompted the National Party to conduct its own review into the party's culture. Trevor Mallard says his review comes amid concern that many of the MPs coming into Parliament don't have the necessary skills and experience to run an office. I'm not confident that we have methods of properly supporting and educating uh, members of Parliament and other people within the building to be good managers. You know, people have a variety of experiences in life. Uh, some of them don't involve uh, managing uh, staff. Having been in Parliament for 30 years, Mr Mallard says he's seen a lot of culture change and notes the amount of alcohol consumed on the precinct has declined. But while we might have hit the back end of the 20th century, he says he's not convinced some attitudes have caught up. The Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says all workplaces have things they can improve on and Parliament is certainly not immune. It is high pressure, there's long hours, there's no excuse though uh, for that to result in poor behaviour and so I think it's worthwhile to undertake this exercise. A number of interviews will be conducted with party presidents, leaders, chiefs of staff, chief whips and MPs but nobody will be identified in the final report. Debbie Francis says Parliament is a bubble environment and she's well aware that robust debate and the odd loose joke is part of a healthy democracy. The way that we define bullying is repeated, intentional, inappropriate or offensive behaviour against an individual or a group that causes physical harm or emotional harm. That's what we're looking for. Staff will be able to take part in the review through a secure online survey, one-on-one -on -one interviews with Ms Francis by phone or face-to-face, -face, focus groups and in writing. MPs who may be subject to targeted or random interviews are mostly on board with the review. Those spoken to were all happy to take part. I've got this position, I've never had any training in, in how do I look after staff. So, and I would have liked that training. Me personally, I'm very proud of the culture that we have. I think it's positive. Um, I'm, I'm very sensitive to the fact that I ran a big company, I had 3,000 employees, culture matters. And, um, and I think that we've got a very strong, healthy culture. Uh, but of course the speaker's taking it from a parliamentary um, standpoint because fundamentally these people are actually, you know, parliamentary employees and so he's got every right to have a look at that and satisfy himself that, um, that the culture is, is OK. I think that bullying and harassment exists unfortunately um, in lots of different workplaces and we can't pretend that Parliament is exempt from this. Um, there's lots of people employed at this place and so it's important that we make sure uh, that we uphold the, the employment laws of this country and that we're good employers as well. The Greens have said for a long time that we're concerned about bullying in Parliament and so we're really, really pleased to see the Speaker announce this review. I'm going to tell the, le the, the female interviewer that the only person that's been seriously bullied around this place for a long time is one Winston Peters by people like you. The review is expected to be completed by April when the report will be publicly released. From Parliament, for Checkpoint, Joe Moyer.